Pretty Pia, 3D Piata. Welcome back, guys, to the Minecraft military force. It is nine months and two weeks into the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And today, we're going to be building the workhorse of the Russian army. This is the Kamaz Mustang family of military army trucks used to transport troops and supplies. Russian army, they primarily mainly use two main brands of trucks. One is Ural, the other is Kamaz. And we have done Ural, so this time we're doing the Kamaz. And I have four different uh, variants over here. So this is the 4350, it is a four x four, so it has two axles. And then here is the 5350, it has uh, six by six, so three axles. So just the only difference between these two trucks are the amount of axles. And then this one over here, we just painted it into the Russian Invasion Z in the front and the side on top and the back. So it just adds a little more detail than if you just made this, which is kind of plain looking to be honest. And then this one right over here, this is actually a 5350, but it does have uh, something different here in the back. These are actually the MM501 armored modules and it has these small windows here on the side. Let me turn on my night vision so you guys can see it's supposed to be this little black thing right there. And they have like these things that they go up since it's not covered by the tarp. And also um, in the back it has these uh, win door windows like that. And um, yeah, these two things, they, although they both have like the Z markings, uh, I noticed they placed it in like different places since it's not uniform. So this one has it on the tarp, while this one has it on the body, which is at the bottom. But it's not necessarily the first time I made a Kamaz truck, uh, because if you remember the Panzer S2, the anti-aircraft uh, missile system, uh, this is actually a Kamaz as well, although it is a little bit different. It has like uh, four axles, not two or three, but you know, it does have like a similar windshield and I decided to redesign that and make it into this slab and daylight detector one Just because it looks more accurate this way. This one I feel like it's too low. This one's more higher So if you already have the s2 uh, Consider converting it into this one just to make it all uniform and the same in notice I also use like smaller wheels this one. I had two by two. So maybe I'll make it a 1.5 I don't know for this truck, definitely this one, it does look better than using those two by two stair wheels. Also, this Kamaz is different because it has this front bumper that sticks out, right? that one's kind of like flat. Um, we also do have a spare tire uh, right behind uh, the cab. And there also is like this window um, on both sides. And there also is a yellow daylight detector here in the middle just to represent those orange lights on top. That's why they're different from the other ones. And there also is like this roof hatch. We also have this exhaust pipe right over here. Although I do wish it was thinner and like closer to this one. That's why if you see the MM501, I kind of removed that just to have this part, uh, which actually does stick out in the real one. This one also has like roof hatches where I've seen like a photo, there's like a guy He's like has a gun mounted out over here. So I guess that's another thing you can do with that. So these trucks are the modern Russian Kamaz trucks. Uh, there is an older Kamaz with a different uh, exhaust system. They have like sort of like this smokestack that goes vertically up, but I am building uh, this newer one, which goes like that and it is still produced. I'm not sure if the older Kamaz is from the Soviet Union, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the four x four and the six by six. I'll be splitting off when I make the wheels cause that's like the main different part. And I also can show you how to make, uh, I guess the Z markings, we can add that later. I'm not sure about this one. I feel like you can just do this on your own. Just modify when you do this one, I can show you what it looks like. 360 view should not be too hard. So first off, let's grab uh, some materials. We're gonna take out polished blackstone brick block, slab, wall, stairs, polished blackstone slab, deep slate tiles and stairs, and a polished deep slate slab, and I guess that's it. So in the front, let's make the first wheels. It's gonna be a polished blackstone brick block, slab on top, then two slabs here in the middle, another block here, slab on top, and then a wall behind each of them. And then a polished blackstone brick blocks, two blocks wide in the middle of that. And then the deep slate tile like that, deep slate tile stairs facing towards it and upside down on the sides. Polished blackstone brick slab here in the middle and polished blackstone slabs cross, so it's like four blocks wide like that. And then a polished 
um, deep slate slab there, and then a polished black stone brick slab right there. Then we're gonna add in a green terracotta. So it's gonna add on the edges, two blocks long, both sides. And then upside down, dark prismarine stairs. And then we'll add in a green terracotta on top, both sides. And we'll make that four blocks wide, um, just like that. And then uh, we're gonna add in a row of dark prismarine slabs, four blocks wide. And then we'll add in a two, actually four blocks wide of dark prismarine slabs on top of the back of the cab and then on the edges like that. Then the inside that's gonna be two blocks wide of black concrete. Then we can add in upside down nether brick stairs facing outwards there. Then we'll add in a row of daylight detectors four blocks wide and we'll make all but the middle one yellow nether brick fence on the sides of this. Then we'll add in stone bun here, acacia bun here, and that stone bun again. Same thing on the other side. And then a dark oak sign to the side of this window, both sides. Then we'll add in a dark oak bun to the sides of the wheels like this. And also underneath we'll need um, dark oak trap doors, just two blocks wide right down there in the middle. All right, then on top, we'll add in warped slabs, two blocks wide like that. Then the back of this, uh, two polished blackstone brick slabs like that. Polished blackstone brick wall, polished blackstone brick block, and a slab on top of that. All right, then we're gonna add in a two by three of this deep slate tile walls. Right there. And then the inside of this, uh, two blocks wide, polished black stone brick walls, and then green terracotta on the inside of this, filled in like so. All right, and then we'll add in a green terracotta here, and we'll make it so it's gonna be seven blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then on top of this is going to be um, cyan terracotta, and on top of that's gonna be polished deep slate slabs cross. And then cyan terracotta again here, right on top. And also make it go down here, uh, green terracotta here, and in the front, I believe it's the same thing like that. Then we're gonna add in uh, this black stone button here, and then a spruce sign wrapped around the sides of this box here. It's pretty much the same all the way across and after we've done that uh, we can actually like copy this and you know build the other half of it it is pretty much the same thing so just use world edit real quick here all right so it should be looking like this then in the back we'll add in polished black stone brick slab here on the edges and then a slab going down like down here and then polished black stone brick block right there and we'll extend that to meet up with the front. Just like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak sign in the back of these wheels. Also dark oak sign right in the back of the cab, both sides. And then we'll also add in a polished blackstone brick slab. Uh, it's gonna be one here. And then upside down, polished blackstone brick stairs here. And a dark oak. Uh, trapdoor close that up like so Then on the other side it's gonna be upside down polished black stone brick stairs right there and Then skip a block polished black stone brick slab right here All right, next we'll add in a polished black stone brick stairs right here And then polished black stone brick um, wall here and a wither skeleton skull here another wither skeleton skull facing the front on top of this fence and another one it's going to be right here then we'll add in our um, deep slate brick slab one right here all right and then we'll go um down below and we'll make a two by two of dark oak trap doors another dark oak trap door right there and then a polished black stone brick slab right there all right, next up, let's go on the other side. And we'll add in a spruce trapdoor here. 
And then a dark oak trapdoor underneath that right there. Then we'll go in the back and skip two blocks, add in a polished blackstone brick block, slab on top, and a wall in the front, and a dark oak trapdoor right there behind. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side right here. Block, slab, wall, trapdoor here, close that up. Also add in dark oak sign in the back of this, both sides. Dark oak button to the side of the wheel, both sides like that. And then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slabs for the axle of it. And we also do need to add in a polished blackstone brick slab right there. And we'll also add in a spruce sign right here on the upper part. Alrighty, so this is where we're gonna split off the tutorial to make the 4x4 one and then the 6x6 one. So I'm gonna make another copy of it right there. So this is gonna be 4x4 one and this is 6x6. So for the 4x4 one, let's go down here, add in two dark oak trap doors and another two here back to back like that. Other side, we could do the same thing. And yeah, that should be pretty much it for the 4x4. Now to make the 6x6, six six, um, we're going to add in another polished blackstone brick block here. Slab on top, dark oak bun right there, and a wall in front of that. Other side, we'll do the same thing. So block here, slab, and then a wall, and then dark oak bun. Also add in two polished blackstone brick slabs right there in the middle. And also in here, we'll add in two dark oak um, trap doors inside like so. All right, so that's pretty much it for the six by six. Now, if you wanna add in the Z markings, you just go in the front here, change one of these to polished diorite. Go to side, punch an hole here, and add in say terracotta on the inside of this. Uh, polish diorite stairs, L shape like that. On the side, same thing. And then in the back, punch in a hole here, say terracotta and our diorite stairs like that. Also, we'll need an iron pressure plate. That's gonna line up right at the top, just put on one side, like so. All right, so that's how you make the invasion one. Now, if you wanna make the armored module one, uh, basically it's the same dimensions, I just changed it a little bit. Um, I actually have this exhaust that is removed on here just to fit this one in. Um, because in Minecraft, you can have half a block stick it to one side so we have it like this so that's how you make the kamas truck in minecraft i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do make sure you hit that like button down below check out our discord and i'll see you guys in the next one bye